All right. A lot of people are asking me, Dr. Shirley, exactly what you're doing. Uh, we're seeing you're having some early success opening up Korea. Um, we heard just recently that uh, Kwang Soo Shin added a thousand people to his team in the last week, and it's all um, being put in some other database. It will be uploaded in the uh, Ice Strengths database soon. But from your perspective, from beginning to end, and don't hold any punches back, you never do, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's health related or anything else. So I, I love that about you. But uh, it does take a lot of work and you, you put in a lot of hours. It's been over a lot of period of time. But can you kind of walk us through from beginning to end and how you're getting your people into these meetings and getting them uh, actually set up? Yeah, sure, Chuck. And, and, and you're right. It, it's been a lot of work. It hasn't been difficult work, but it's been it's been disciplined work. And I think right from the beginning, you know, when I heard about this, I knew that I wanted to put effort in to, to have some success because it is very rare that you do get this opportunity. We hear that, but it is truly very rare. I've been with companies before and they'd be like, oh, we're opening Japan. And like, well, that's great. Can you go there? Do you know anyone there? Do you have $5,000 to go spend a week there? So I just saw this as a vehicle, like, holy cow, you know, we're working with Quang Su, who is there, you know, direct access to everything. So I really saw it as a, a huge potential that I did not want to miss. Now, does that mean everything you put out there is going to guarantee success? No, but I knew that I was going to put in the effort and it would not be for lack of trying um, if I didn't have some success with this. So walk me through the very beginning. You start making connections with people in Korea. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, you kind of use like terms of existing companies to find some maybe potential do marketers and you, you, you reached out to them and uh, go ahead and tell us how you did that at the beginning. Yeah, I did. And um, in the beginning, I um, started, first of all, I went through in Korea and I searched out the top um, network marketing companies in, in Korea. And so then I did a secondary search. That was just a Google search. But then I did a search on LinkedIn of people that lived you know, first in Seoul, that lived in Seoul and were involved in, you know, these companies and eight of them I hadn't even heard of before. Um, and that, you know, they were, they were not big numbers, but they were qualified, they were qualified people. So that was the first thing that I did. And then I went through and I, um, they don't really seem to use the word entrepreneur or entrepreneurship in Korea because I, so I didn't have a lot of success with that. So I started um, using CEO. Um, and so I had a lot of success with um, CEO search. Um, I also used uh, like sales management um, training. And I, you know, just people that I knew um, would have a potential because it takes a certain kind of personality you know, to do this kind of work. So I normally stay away from people that maybe tech or people that are professional Professors, and I don't mean to prejudge, but sometimes people that are more analytical are not necessarily people that are cut out for um, this type of business. And um, and then I crafted the letter, which I know that you've um, you've shared and is available. And I basically, and I've said this before, it's kind of just like you know monkey work. I would because LinkedIn is slow. It used to be you could like just load 50 or 100 names, put in one letter and hit a button and off you go. It's not like that anymore. It is copy, paste, click, 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 send. Copy, paste, click, click. So that's what I did the first time around. And um, and I had six people that responded, um, four that um, spoke to Quang Su, um, one that has enrolled and is enrolling other people so far. Um, I then moved on to Busan, and Busan is in the southern part of the country. There's quite a bit of difference between the two. I think by rail, and they have a high-speed rail, it's about three hours, but it's still, you know, a whole different, um, you know, neighborhood, if you will, and a different work type. It's a big port city, and so um, there, I found a lot of people that were in that industry there, but so when Quang Su was going there, and I did have people, you know, show up at the Busan um, meeting as well, too, so that was exciting, and so now I have shifted back, and I still have Korean people that are responding to my request for connection that I did like three months ago, two months ago. Like I just got three in yesterday. Some people aren't on LinkedIn that much, but I just immediately, you know, sent out another letter, sent out another follow up. And, um, and I, you know, I put a good amount of time into it. I, I'm an old school, like what I'm going to do for the day. So I have a written calendar versus a Google calendar. Um, but I, I put on there LinkedIn and I um, put some attention you know, into that part of my business every single day, really. So just to put things in perspective, you got six responses. Of those six, four actually made connection with Quang Su. How yeah. many connections did you have to make to get <laughs> six? 
a, a lot. And I'm just going to tell you a quick story. There was someone on my team that said, I sent out four letters. Nobody responded. And I was like, oh, <laughs> bad percentages. I, I sent out 235, 235 letters by hand. And, you know, and again, it's not hard work, but it was hard to just stay focused to do it when it's beautiful, sunny day up here in upstate New York. So yeah, the numbers, you know, it's all numbers, but what did I, who knew what the next click was going to bring? <laughs> you don't know. It's like fishing. And that's what I liked about it. And uh, it's let's say one more step further, because that's excellent information. But now let's say they do the work, they do the 200 uh, connections, the 200 letters, they get three or four responses. Clayton Sue doesn't want to just say, hey, somebody responded to my uh, recommendation request. We actually have to do a little, uh, groundwork first what is that groundwork that he's got you doing before uh he actually will you know go to work for you well you know we need to make sure that people are prepped you're not just pulling someone in off the street this is oh i i want to make some money what do you got you know, it's not like that and i i use that in my letter and say if you are qualified and in order for you to be qualified to talk to and this is just a side hint um what people in korea are very um they're more formal so if you're writing a letter and using you know, Kwang Su, you would say you know mr Kwang Su shin master consultant is what i used Kwang Su shin so and also when you address people in the letter you want to address them you know is is mr as well it's just a formality that exists um you know within korea and you know so i would say the you know these are the next steps um either a you know watch this business overview b join this on monday night or tuesday or you know c i can arrange um, a private call if you have done either a or b uh, and so that's the direction that i'm um that i'm going in right now and um, we have to make sure our prospects are qualified and um both for our sake and for the time of Kwang Su as well too, like you say. Excellent. So as you're sending these letters, are you sending them in English or are you actually doing the translation of Korean and then sending them or are you letting them translate their own? You know, I, I am sending in English. Um, most people, a couple of times I've gotten some responses in Korean and, um, but what's so great about the internet is I just copy, paste it, go over to Google, put it in, please translate. And then it might say something like, thank you or yes, please. Very simple, you know, yeah yes interested something you know along those lines and i do let them you know they can see that the business presentations you know are in korean and that but yeah it's uh i i don't i don't do it that way initially you know most people in seoul are english speaking but when you get down to busan it's it's not as much the case down there yeah okay so the official launch is october 8th and so people still have time to get in on the initial but as kwang su's taught us this is a six month two year window so there's no, you know, people could start today. So what they would start doing is making connections, send out the recommendation request that uh, I'll post next to this video where that link is. We, we kind of hide it on my blog, but it's there, the recommendation letter we're using. Then you invite them to a Zoom meeting or one of the meetings that Kwang Su Sin is doing at the corporate office uh, or a meeting in his hotel. And then at that point, once they've met with Kwang Su, you don't just leave it up to Kwang Su you're following up with them and keeping in touch. Can you kind of tell us how that works? Yeah, I actually created, um, I created an invitation for them. And, uh, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go in the beginning, but I told them that they would have to show, they would have to print and show this invitation and what it was. And I went to Canva, if you've never used it before, it's a free graphic service, C-A-N-V-A.com. And I went to Canva and I downloaded a Isogenics photo and then I, uh, also loaded in a Korean and American flag on there. Yes, I made it look nice. And then I put their name at the top, special VIP guest of Dr. Shirley. And then I put my ID number at the bottom. There's going to be no mistake in where those people were going. And so they were instructed to take that. That would, And I told them that, that, that they would that would ensure that they would be very well treated, that they were a guest of mine. And so you know, it's just those little extra things, I think, that made a difference. It made them feel important. It made, it covered me because, you know, it does take a lot of work to get this, you know, these one or two, what I sure as heck didn't want to lose them to the, to the crowd. Anything could have happened. So that was my way of covering myself um, during that. This was before everything got super busy, you know, um, so maybe, you know, a month or six 
weeks ago, but then I guess he did show up. He, you know, Queen Seuss had training meetings and he keeps bringing people in. You know, my guest is, uh, or my associate rather, um, um, Quan Sim, Wang, sorry. And uh, anyway, so he's bringing people to the training meetings. He sent me a photo the other night and he just wrote, you know, we are happy. We participate in isogenics today. And um, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Well, I'm really excited about your success there. And, you know, the cool thing about this, like Quang Su's taught us, is you, had, you never know. Uh, this guy may do nothing, but he may lead you to 10,000 people or 100,000 people. You just don't know. So keep planting the seeds. Is there any final words you'd have for those listening to this recording? Uh, yeah, I, I just want to give it, you know, shout out, you know, to my own, you know, team with them, you know, Sheila um, and Jean are both duplicating this. I, I know Sheila sent me a note that she was sending out to 50 particular people. Um, Jean uh, Giorgini is um, currently working with an expat in Busan who is a wellness expert and works with chiropractors and psychiatrists and uh, she is very interested in the business and in process of scheduling a one-on-one um, -on -one with Queen Sue right now and she's you know Jean has done her homework and um, so that seeing it duplicate within the team is obviously what this business is all about. Well Diane and I have learned so much from you about health uh, in the short time we've known you. We love working with you. Thank you for taking time out today to share what you're doing because I know a lot of people you know, they hear the training, but they really haven't put two and two together. So hopefully you've been able to help them put two and two together, let them realize it does take a lot of work, but that work will, it's a numbers game. You know, if you do enough seed plan, you're going to find some that come through. And that's exactly what you're experiencing on a small scale now, but there's no telling how big this scale is going to get for you. So congratulations. Very, very proud of you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Chuck. Appreciate it. Good luck, everyone.